Hi, my love. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this practice mediumship reading on you. Um, <clears throat> so um, I was connecting with your energy and I just kind of wrote a couple notes here for you. So um, the great grandfather figure that you were asking about, when I was looking at the name, um, like the first thing that I saw, I saw an image of a railroad, okay? So railroads, and I, I wrote down travel. Um, I don't know if he worked on the railroads, but I feel like there was railroads where it was a specific or a prominent um, thing with him, okay? Him specifically. I, I wrote down working hard. I was seeing just a lot of uh, just a lot of, of, of blood, sweat, and tears going into whatever it is that he did. Um, so I don't know if he was a rail railroad worker or he utilized the railroads to travel from one place to another. You have a lot of traveling energy in your ancestry line. You have a lot of family that just, they were in one place and then they were in the next and then they were in the next. And that maybe that is why it is so difficult for you to track down specifics about your family um, because they were all they were literally all over the place. You have a, a, a line of travelers <laughs> and a lot of different a lot of different cultures. Um, I wrote down um, ancestry of healers too. So you have a lot of like, and I, don't, I didn't want to use the term shamanic, but I feel like it was native healing. A lot of them utilize the natural. The natural medicines versus like Western medicine. Um, so they use a lot of herbal remedies. And I feel like right now that kind of registers for you to something about you <laughs> when I was looking at your image. Something about you was telling me that you need to utilize more herbal medicines versus like the pills that we get from the doctor. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like like your spirit is saying that you will gain more from herbal remedies than you will from medicines. Now I'm not telling you don't take your medicine if you have prescriptions or whatnot, but I'm just saying that there's herbal remedies that come down from your family line that would be very helpful and beneficial for you. Um, and then the last thing that I wrote down, uh, no, I wrote, I wrote down a couple more. I, I saw floating in water. Now at first I thought floating in water was a form for you. So I don't know, maybe if you like to swim, but that could be a form of therapy, <laughs> therapy or like a, a way of meditation. I don't suggest literally like submerging yourself in water and meditating because you know, when you're meditating, you're close to a sleep state, but perhaps if you were in a body of water, like a bathtub, um, meditation will come much more natural to you the other thing I saw was floating in the water or I wrote drowning with a question mark so I don't know if there was someone in your life um, in your in your family who passed away from a drowning um, this could this doesn't have to necessarily go al along the lines of the great-grandfather that we were asking to connect with but I feel like there was a drowning in your in your family line somewhere around there <laughs> Um, the other thing I saw or I feel is that eccentric lifestyles revolve around your family. Lots of running around, lots of moving around. So you have a lot of ancestry that just, they lived very eclectic lifestyles. They did not live the nine to five jobs. They did not live the whole being homeowners and houses for like 50 years. They, they moved around um so very different lifestyles in your family line that's like the kind of what i was sensing there um i wish i could give you some more information my love but that's all that was coming to me and i didn't um i didn't want to kind of like spend too much time on it because i didn't want to start allowing the ego to come through but that's just that's what i got i don't know if that's going to be helpful but thank you so much for letting me connect with you for this free mediumship insight <laughs>